It's just about 11.30 on your Thursday, so it's time to check in with our friend Eric Raditz from Florida Weekly. How's it going, Eric? Good. How are you all? Got the doing? band back together. I feel like finally I've missed you on the show. Chris I know. did such a great job. One Claire of my was great. favorite segments. I love I saw Claire posted that she was on a Tonight Show or something. That was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When that are you going to be on that? I don't know. We'll see. Correct. Well, Hopefully wait, wait to see reason. me do something embarrassing, and then we'll, <laughs> and then we'll watch. Got it. <laughs> all right, so kind of diving into this week's issue, we'll kind of... Set the tone here. We'll, we'll work from serious to fun. I'm this here. Week's I'm with issue. you. Uh, you guys have a pretty in-depth piece talking about evacuations, which is, you know, obviously coming out of hurricane season very relevant here in southwest Florida. Yes, and we know during the hurricane, all of us were asking that question, what are we going to do? Are we evacuating or not? Thank goodness there's stations uh, like you, award-winning hurricane coverage, the best I've ever seen to tell us pretty much what's going on. But a lot of the decisions, too, to, uh, to state when everyone should evacuate are done by a group of folks who have a set of uh, procedures with which they decide it. Well, we take a look at some of those procedures. For example, the evacuation decision-making matrix uh, is one of them. And uh, at what level do we decide uh, to evacuate? And as you know, there's zones A, B, C, D, E, and F. So we take a real good look at how those decisions makings are made. How those decisions are made when it comes to uh, evacuations. Yeah, certainly a lot of moving parts with it. Now we know a lot of people moved to Florida during the pandemic, so there's still relatively some newcomers, you could say, which also added to the evacuation piece. You know, during these hurricanes. But you guys are talking about newcomers in this uh, edition. Yeah, this is one of my favorite edition of the year because we get a brand new newcomers guide, and this newcomers guide actually is everything you need to know about what there is to do in southwest florida if you're a newcomer things to do in the arts places to go all the events that are coming up this is the type of a free slick glossy magazine that you should keep the entire year for yourself and for all of your guests who come to town if they want to leave it on the coffee table or in the bathroom or wherever people like to read <laughs> the newcomer's guide is free and in this week's florida weekly yeah, it's it kind of important that you need to have a whole separate issue of it it's it's fantastic it's, it's a keeper it's for a whole year round and it's, it comes free. Th this is, you know, this is that's at least awesome. a $5, 10 yeah, yeah. magazine, but it's in there free for everybody. That's today. awesome. And kind of piggybacking off of that, folks that are new to this area, if you're watching, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is a big arts and entertainment area, and you guys have been kind of scouring, looking for all the best stuff as we get closer to the holidays. We've been compiling it, compiling and compiling it, and we've been doing this for a while. And this year, this season, we have a lot that's actually coming into town. We also, and this, it's a big addition this week, so it's one you don't want to miss. Yeah, it seems like it's it. It's our arts preview season guide. Uh, so every concert, show, arts opening, theater, special event happening all the way through next summer is in this edition as well our 2022-23 full season guide tons to do in town and it's all in there love it and my favorite part things to do this weekend you're talking about bill burr chris and i are massive fans of bill burr oh, yeah. uh, fun that fact was... we went to the same high school together oh well not together he's older than me but we went to the same high school <laughs> he's gonna be in town uh so go the the uh, hertz uh, is i think it's the 20th it's uh, nice yeah so go see him we have him and a lot of other comedians in town uh chelsea handler is nice. also going to be in town and there's a bunch of recovery hurricane concerts uh one with livingston taylor Hosted by yours truly, uh, Sunday Peace Vision concert at the Luminary Hotel, the Calusa Amphitheater. Uh, but also Foreigner is, is going to be playing this weekend. And in addition to that, all of the arts openings, karaoke, yoga, all the fun stuff in uh, FloridaWeekly.com. Find us on stands online and device. And right here, this QR code where you can take a picture and get the entire guide right there into your home for free. It's so easy. There's no excuse. Yeah, Plus. this is one you uh, do not want to miss either. It seems like a lot of good content in there. Absolutely. Well, always enjoy talking with you and catching up, Eric. Thank thanks you. so much. We'll see you next week. Have a nice week. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, guys.